Okay, so now we're on the subject of steels. We're just going to create a brush steel. This is the photo reference I have. Uh, this is not steel, but this is a brushed material. I think this is nice. It's very subtle, yet you can see it's clearly there. So we're going to create this quickly using a noise map. So grab a V-Ray material here, and we're going to assign this to the ball. And first we're going to get the noise map correct. So just go down to your maps general, and down here you'll find there's noise. Just double click this, bring it in, and put that into your diffuse slot. Now, if you do a quick render, you can kind of see the noise here. Now you have to be careful, if the noise map's too big, you're not going to be able to see that, um, the noise and what's happening. And if the noise map's too small, you're also not going to be able to see the noise and what's happening. Uh, but we're fortunate we can see it and we can tell what's going on. So let's make this lower, let's make the, take this down to 50. And then what we need is we need this highlight brought down. Actually, if I put this back up so you can see what's going on, basically this makes the lights more intense. It brings down where the white level is. And this pushes up where the black level is. So you can get a lot more contrast just by pushing these points up. And we're gonna lower this down to about 50. And let's just do a quick render, see what we see. All right, so we see that. Now what you need to do is mess with the tiling here. So this is one, which means literally that size is one, and this is on the z-axis. Now we're going to mess around on the x and y. So if I put this at point 0.1, you'll see that just this area here gets streaky. And if I put this one on point 0.1, you'll see the y-axis getting streaky. And if you do the z and the y together, you get lines coming across. Now this is too large, like these lines here are very, very fine and that's what we're trying to get. So really we need, uh, let's try point zero, zero 0.05 here, point zero zero 0.005 here, and this size, let's bring this down to 5. And you start getting those lines coming across in this render. Now I'm still thinking that those lines are too big, so we're going to go down to size 1. Okay, so we have these segments here. What we're going to do to get rid of those is we're going to reduce this tiling effect. So let's try 0 0.002. And we'll go with that. Let's try the size actually 0.5. Perfect. Um, now, one of the things you'll find is as you reduce this size, you need to reduce the tiling here. This number needs to go down. Another thing which you need to know is that a noise map, well, these are based on uh, units. So you need to come here into customize unit setup. And I have mine set to millimeters and my system unit scale sent to millimeters. But if you have centimeters or inches, then you will need to come much lower on these. Which means if you now bring this material into another scene with different units, it's going to render differently. But that's just something to be aware of and then know what's happening if you see it. So now we have that as we want it. What we're going to do is bring this and put this into the reflection map. Turn off for now. Turn show background in preview so we can see what's happening here. Make the diffuse black and bring this down to point 0.6. And now, if we render, you can see these lines all coming across here. Now the problem with this is that these lines are too harsh. If you look at the reference image, they're very subtle. And the reason they're harsh is because where this black is, it's saying you have no reflection. So it's not reflecting at all. What I would do for this, to handle it, is that we're just going to change this color. We're just going to brighten it. And then render. And you can see the lines there. If I come here and make this a better resolution. Okay, here you can see the subtlety of the brush steel. And that's exactly what I was looking for.
if you want to use a fall off in here, what you need to do is come along here, grab a fall off, plug that in, close the mix curve. You want to use the output, enable color map, bring this up here up high, put an extra dot in there, drag this down, make this line here should be horizontal really. Right click, Bezier smooth, and then bring this down a bit. Bring this down so it's horizontal again. That's horizontal. And that gives you a pretty correct reflection curve there. Let's bring that down a little. All right. And then what you're going to need to do is you need to composite map. So just grab the composite, put it in there, layer one. And then bring this noise. Click a new layer. Put that onto that. And then what you want to do is change that to multiply. And let's try this opacity at 50%. This, you know, more effect, less effect. I'm just guessing here. Multiply will only bring in the darks and not the light. So the darks will get darker. And it can be very harsh, which is why I've done that. So let's save this one so we can compare. And we're just going to render this. Okay, these, those have pretty much disappeared. So let's leave this multiply at 100. Let's try. Yeah, that's fine at 100. That's nice and subtle. This is without the fall off, and this is with the fall off. If you want to make that brighter, all you have to do is come in here on this fall off and bring these points up. And that'll make it brighter. Okay, um, that's how you get a brush steel effect in 3ds max and with a fall off parameter there.